In this Leave Wizard review video, I'm going to be showing you everything you need to know about Leave Wizard. For those of you who don't know what Leave Wizard is, it's basically a leave management system designed to make the employer's life easier as well as the employees. You basically send a link to the employees, they log in and then they can manage their own leaves, their own holiday stuff, their sickness stuff, you know, basically everything and you can automate that whole entire process. Now, if you have any questions about Leave Wizard at at all go ahead and drop them below and I'll also leave the latest discount link for Leave Wizard which will take you to the best place to get Leave Wizard. Let's jump over to my dashboard and I'll show you what it's all about. Here we are in Leave Wizard. It's got a pretty simple navigation area. So you've got your calendars, which shows the overall snapshot of what's actually going on. You've got your allowances as well as team allowances. Then you've got your leave calendar and then your overall calendar as well. You can split it up into work groups. And if you scroll down, you can actually filter the calendar to show specific information and time periods etc. At the top you have your core navigation and just underneath it you have further options which are specific to requesting leaves, overtime and absences. Then you can use the search feature to the right to find a certain employee and for the actual calendar you can also filter it and change the view for weekly or monthly. You have options for leave bookings so you've got anything from your own leaves to requests and reports. Then you've got the calendar with further filtering options tools is your address book configuration is all the information regarding the calendar your branding uh, specific groups and all of the customizations for each thing an employee can do so if one of your employees wanted to request leave they would click the request and do request leave inside here it will show the work groups followed by the employee name they would choose what type they want leave for and then they would just enter the title the information and some further details and then do submit that's been added and if we go to month there we go it's now stretched out for those five days and if you click it this will give you more information if they want to request overtime again they'll just repeat the process of clicking on the request button click overtime select all of their information say they've done three hours overtime and then do submit you can also integrate things like outlook so it can sync in harmony with all of your calendars you can create your own categories room bookings and add your own api access to your crm platforms you'll notice in the top right hand corner we have two new notifications if we select that this is our inbox area and this will tell you what's been going on what's been improved what's been requested what's been cancelled etc this is what it looks like when you enter this is what it looks like when you enter the inbox heading over to the leave tab and then clicking on pending approvals. This is where the three main categories, which is leave, pending cancellations, and overtime will be listed. So if anything's pending here, you can approve or dismiss them and even give reasoning why. Under my leave area, it will show all the options in a categorized format, such as pending, approval, rejected, expired, canceled, and overtime. If we go over to approved, you can even edit that and cancel it if you need. You can filter it by date, and it'll even give shortcut buttons to all of the other options, like request absence for, a member of your team request leave for yourself and request overtime all of the options are basically in this format so we don't need to go through every single one this is the overall calendar view and it can be filtered by month date or year and if we scroll down it's even got a list of color codes just to help you quickly distinguish what's what and you can filter it by timeline week month or even day. No matter what sort of calendar you're on, you can always click on one of the options and it'll take you to the relevant event. Under tools, it will show you all the people inside a specific work group and their position in the company, what they've bought. Under configuration, this is where you would add all your groups, locations, employees, and you can even send them welcome messages. So if you wanted to add an employee, click the add employee option, fill out first name, second name, put in their email for the username, change the role, we're gonna do employee, and then do next. Select what sort of allowances they're allowed, and do submit you can even add a customized message here and then you can just do send email and do finish now under my work group you have that employee set you can change the name to whatever name you want so for example this one is marketing department then change the work group lead so whoever manages this the location and you can even set up predefined work patterns for better categorization click submit and there you have it you've got your new 
marketing department. To create new locations, click the new location tab, enter your location, choose which work pattern, and then do submit. Under company settings, this is where you'll change all of the administration details and information on this back end. It's where you can upload your own logos, followed by your default company time zone, how you want the date and year shown, any restrictions, approvals, and notifications you want. It's all done here. And you can quickly jump to each section by clicking the side navigation. Finally, if you want to to set restrictions on approvals, event types, allowances, work patterns, public holidays, leave restrictions, leave visibility, request restrictions and restricted periods. This is under configuration is where you do it and it all follows a very similar format. So let's go into leave visibility, click new leave visibility user group, enter a group name, make it visible to whoever, which work groups, which employees, and then do submit. And now you have your visibility group and you can do the very same layout in all the other options. I do hope you've enjoyed this review video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.